Life with Kathy viewers. Now have a cameraman. Awesome. Okay, cameraman, you're going to help me here. This is our problem today. A crack in the toilet. It goes all the way down. If you can see, there's water there and there. And it is dripping. I cannot get all the water out of the inside, even though I've turned the crank all the way. My mother tells me I need a boyfriend to help me, but i sorry I don't have one. So, flex tape. We will see if this works. It'll have to be a video number two because, as you know, I do not edit. All right. Directions say, just cut, peel, stick, and seal. Leave backing on tape and cut to desired dimension. Use high quality scissors or razor blade. These are my high quality from the Dollar Tree probably. Now these, I think these are from Walmart. Um, press down firmly on a clean surface. Now this is not going to be dry because I can't get it dry. Using your fingers, plastic squeegee or roller, press down firmly and remove any air pockets. Continue pressing firmly and allow to remain on the surface. Flex tape's bond will increase with time and pressure, and in some cases, ooh, and pressure, and in some cases may need up to 24 hours to reach maximum hold. Interesting. Once fully bonded, flex tape cannot be repositioned. I would hope not. Uh, seal flex tape contains a super strong waterproof seal. And then it tells you all that it's good for. Roofs and whatever. PVC pipe. Okay. Uh, Alright, so let's crack this bad boy open. And it is four inches wide. And you get five feet of it. And I went to the dollar store because our local hardware store is super expensive. As I told my daughter, and she asked me what that meant, they charge two prices. I know some of you people probably know what I'm talking about. So, let's just crack this open. I watched a guy put this on a trash can, and it started leaking. But I don't think this is going to have that same kind of pressure that that big... Oh, that's thick. That's... And it said leave the backing on it? Is there backing on this... I don't think there it is. You people are crazy. No, it's just sticky. There's a white strip the, in there. The backing's on the back. What? The backing Maybe. is what the sticky part is sticking to. Whatever. We'll figure this out later. Okay, I'm going to guesstimate how much I need. Because that's the way I roll. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go up underneath it a little bit. And that's a rounded surface, so I don't know how that's going to work. So, let's see. Oh, see? That's still sticky. Okay, whatever. Let's see. There. There. And it's going to go right over the... Right over the flappy thing. I mean the flusher. You could cut it. You My could... cameraman is trying to tell me something. But I'm not understanding. You can cut around oh, yeah. the flusher. As you can see, I'm You really, did pull off part of the backing of I'm the next really, piece. I'm really good at DIY stuff. That's why you people watch me, because you like you like the goofs. Oh, gosh. Okay. They, so, they live for the chaos. I'm going to cut off. See, you're peeling off the backing. My, that's what I was saying. Oh, my camera person is the one that's sleeping in the bedroom that I was taking the stuff off of that I still did not finish. Thank you, Mom. Yeah, and she wants to paint it black, so you might see something happening in the summertime. <laughs> okay. I, uh, I'm going to attempt to dry this again, just in case. Should I start from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top? Top to the bottom. Oh, really? We can add more to the bottom. Okay. Now, this guy had water pure, like, flowing out, and he was sticking it on. So, these little bubbles shouldn't hurt anything. There's mom getting her a cookie. All right. My hand's the squeegee. Ugh. Okay, and it's going up underneath. And as you can see, it is not going to go around that corner very well, but I'm going to stick it in. Oh, it did kind of fold up underneath nicely. 
I don't need all, all the edges, the air pockets out, but it did say get the air pockets out, so we will try. It's so it doesn't leak around and cause it to unstick. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Blech. It's wet over there. All right. This just needs to hold until we can get somebody to put in a new toilet. Now, I'm feeling water underneath there, but I can't. There is no way I can get my head down there. Ooh, I could do a mirror, but it's out there and mom's out there and we are not opening that door. No, I don't think there's, I don't think there's a problem down there. So yay, we've got that done. All nice and done. There you are. That's what, and it's thick. It's like, I don't know which one of my fingernails might be the thickness. None of them because I need to cut them. You still got a drip of water there unless that no came off of your hand. way. Where are you coming from? Oh, Jiminy Cricket. I'm still thinking this is success. Anyway, see my little fingernail right there? It's like, like that thick. Oh, that's about how thick this is. And then you peel, I don't know why we need to peel off any backing. Because it's not... I guess so it won't ruin all the dogs at the door. I thought that was mom. <laughs> Cooper, you do not need to be in this video. See, it's got a, a little ridge there. I don't know why. <laughs> that might have just been a defect in the tape or the way I stuck it on there. I'm not a DIY person. I think it's a defect in the tape. We need to do more DIY. I think that's all there was of the backing. I don't know why. Hmm. Okay, so that's Life with Kathy today. Tomorrow, we will do a, another video showing you if it actually has stayed okay or it has dripped in the floor. So that's the only thing I need to use flex tape on today. So this was almost $17 at Dollar General store. If I would have bought it at the other place, I probably would have paid 25. I don't know. Someday I'll have to go in there and check it out. I'll let you know. But what I'm going to do is take this around and either stick a little piece of tape on there or or just a rubber band to just keep that safe. How's that? There's not a whole lot on there for $16, but if it'll keep me and us to be able to use this toilet tonight, which we need to because, like I said, my mother is 92 and she uses this toilet all the time. So, if she can come in here and use the bathroom and sit back and use her potty chair, praise the Lord. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm cleaning up my mess as we talk. Um, that's Life with Kathy today. So, we will see you back tomorrow.